And on my Instagram poll, I asked you guys what UK snacks I should try. I got a ton of different responses from different supermarkets and just some really weird food in general. So I'm really excited and um, I thought I would share this experience. So I went out and did some shopping, all different places, all different food, too much money. And I'm in an Airbnb outside of Wembley Stadium. So let's get snacking. So there's a lot of options to pick from, uh, I don't really know where to start. I think I might try with something a little sweet. This kind of interests me, I think this is a tea cake. I have no idea what this tastes like, so let's get into it. Here's some ASMR. So it's just this chocolate half a sphere. <laughs> You know those chop tops without like the cone? It looks like that. Here goes nothing. Um, <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. There's like a biscuit down the bottom, but it actually kind of works. I can see why people like this. I don't know if I could eat a lot of this. I think like if I ate one, I'd be done. Like I don't want any more, but it's actually not too bad. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Tea cakes, four out of five. British equivalent of a s'more. Didn't expect to like them that much. A pretty strong start. Since I had something really sweet, I'm gonna move on to some of the chips or crisps. The one that kind of like sticks out to me are these little chippies up here. Are they called chippies? <laughs> <laughs> these are called chip sticks. No, I'm not gonna say that every time, I swear. I'm sorry, that was disgusting. <laughs> oh, these are a bit weird. Let me get some more. <laughs> I just made a mess on the carpet. They've got like a salt and vinegar taste, which I think that's the flavor for these, but they're really airy, but they're, they're good. They're kind of addictive. Chipsticks, 2.5 out of five. Everything about it feels like I'm eating the food embodiment of white noise and static. Next up, I'm gonna try these little things from Toy Story 2. Um, they're called What's It, I think. What is it? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Don't, these are actually really good. Do you know what these remind me of? There's this um, version of Cheezels in Australia where there's sticks. I think that's what I'm thinking these are like, but these are cheesy. I actually really like these. Um, I'm a big fan of cheese chips. No one cares. <laughs> Damn, these are actually really good. What's it? Five out of five. I really want to recreate the cheese puff scene from Toy Story, like I mentioned, but using these. Hands down, the best cheese flavored snack I've had here. Okay, so I'm definitely more of a chip person, but I'm gonna break them up like a bit between the sweets and the chips, um, just so it's not like a big overload. <laughs> so I'm gonna try one of these um, little bickies. They're called digestive biscuits. I don't really know what to expect from this. It kind of looks like healthy, but not. Um, yeah, I might as well try it. I mean, it's a biscuit with chocolate, but I think that's it. <laughs> I don't know what the hype is, I'm sorry. I think like a few people suggested this, but there's not like a lot going on here, so I apologize. Does anyone know why they're called digestive biscuits? Are they actually meant to help with digestion. <laughs> Digestives, two out of five. 
bit boring, but if you paired it up with some milk or some hot chocolate, these would actually be amazing. They seem like the type of biscuit that would soak it up really well. Just a little bit basic, but a safe option if you wanted to offer a snack to someone else. Next up, we have these little wavy chips. Um, I believe they're called quavers. I'd love to know the history, but <laughs> no, I don't. Mmm. Damn, these are actually really good. Um, again, they're really airy. I think maybe all the chips here are just super airy for no reason. I mean, it's probably healthier. <laughs> Salt and vinegar quavers. 3.5 out of 5. Feels like I'm eating air mostly, but it's nicely flavoured air, so I'm not mad about it. Alright, so this next one I am actually pretty scared about. Just because I have a good feeling I'm not going to like this at all. Uh, it's a Jaffa cake, which from what I've heard, it's orange, chocolate, and a, like a bit of a biscuit. I've got to try it, so... Oh. Oh no! The orange in it is like, there's not a lot, but it hits you. I definitely need some water after this. Jaffa Cakes, zero mm. out of five. I don't understand how this can be enjoyable if you don't like orange flavored things paired with chocolate. Ugh. It's also a texture thing. It's cakey, which makes sense with the name, but I need a bit more crunch. This might be a good time to move on to a drink. Next, we've got some Lucozade. Oh, it's fizzy. <laughs> um, this is actually really good. It looks like some sort of like energy drinks, like a Powerade or a Gatorade. Um, it contains glucose. I don't know if that's good. Considering I just said I hate orange, I really like orange drinks. <laughs> Would I drink it again? Yes. Lucozade, 4 out of 5. Tastes really nice and refreshing, just like a kid's syrup and nirofen back in the day. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. A more subtle version of Fanta, also speaking of which, I notice all the orange flavoured Fanta here is quite yellow in colour. Uh, what's up with that? I know I said I like cheese, so I've got another flavour of Quavers, and so it's cheese Quavers, so I'm just gonna eat it. Oh, that is really different to the salt and vinegar, obviously. I don't think I like it as much as the salt and vinegar. I think it's kind of the texture that um, doesn't sit well with me, I guess. I think if I had to do like a, a cheese flavor, it would definitely be the what's it. I think they're pretty average. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I quit. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> cheese quavers, two out of five. Not cheesy enough. What's it? Literally obliterate these. Next, I'm gonna try some boy boons. <laughs> I hope that's how you say it. I know in Australia it's pronounced bourbon, but that's an alcoholic drink. So this is nothing like that, but I heard it's called bourbon. <laughs> bourbon? 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 Bourbon. Alright, let's go nothing. Let's go nothing! <laughs> Uh, I know there's like cream in the middle of it, but where is it when I'm chewing it? Like, it's okay, but it's just a chocolate biscuit. Is everyone else on the same page? Boban? Boban. <laughs> Not this again. Two out of five. Not a memorable one either. Very subtle chocolate flavor compared to how it looks. Do I need any more thoughts on this? I'm gonna try some of the things in the middle here. Some of them look a little questionable. So I'm gonna go for maybe this. It looks like a biscuit, but it's not. It's like a thick layer of pastry with some pork in there. I guess I'm gonna try it. Nah, maybe I'm not today. Oh. Um, <laughs> a bit gluggy. <laughs> it's gonna take like two minutes swallowing this. Time lapse right now. <laughs> Oh, I really had a little bite of it and it, I felt like the more I was chewing, the more food that was in my mouth. Pork pie, one out of five. I actually tried these like five years ago when I visited the UK and I remember them being a lot better than this. 
So maybe I had a weird batch where the pastry wasn't as hardened. So this big meatball in the middle of this plate is known as a scotch egg. I assume it's Scottish? But anyway, they're a big thing here in the UK, so I had to get one. But I didn't realise how big they are. Just look how big it is compared to the pork pie. It's a huge boulder looking thing. So basically, it's this crummy... <laughs> I didn't mean to roast you like that. All right, so basically it's this crummy meat thing. It's like a meat ball, but it's not a meat ball. <laughs> oh my God. It's like a boil. It's like a, it's a boil egg. Time lapse. Okay, so my review on it. It's interesting. <laughs> Scotch egg, 2.5 out of five. I like eggs. It's a crummy texture, so wear a bib. Size is a bit big for a single serving snack. It's kind of the size of a water bomb. Now, if you're wondering what these two little guys here are, um, their names are Colin, Colin the Caterpillar. I had no idea this thing existed until I got here and I was watching the UK version of the Gogglebox and some guy had a really big version of it and he was just munging on it. So I was like, damn, I have to try one of these now. But I saw mini versions. I'm like, they're cute. And they're, they're still just as cute. Are they though? Um, they're kind of cursed actually, but apparently they're a big deal here. So I've got to try it. Should I eat his face or his butt? <laughs> oh. That's actually, that's not what I was expecting. I was expecting a dry cake just then. Oh, that's a lot of chocolate. I'm so glad I didn't buy a big version. <laughs> I think this is like the UK equivalent of a Freddo ice cream cake. Like one of those cakes you have at like all the kids parties. Not bad, I'm pretty impressed with Colin. I'm killing him right now, I'm sorry. Mini Colin Caterpillar, five out of five. I'm surprised how good these were based on how cursed they tend to look, but it was so good. If I was a kid and got one of these mini ones in my lunchbox for school, I would be so chuffed all day, the rest of my life. <laughs> we're gonna try some bacon chips, also known as frazzles. Oh, oh God. I just took a big sniff of that. Um, it does smell pretty bacony, which is kind of weird in chip form, but I do like the details on the chip. It looks like all the UK chips here are really airy, but um, oh, <laughs> I sound so disappointed, but I kind of am. I get like a small hint of like bacon flavor, but then it's like, should I really be eating this as a chip? I don't think I really like these. They kind of look like little towels. Do they? <laughs> Bacon frazzle, 1.5 out of five. Look, I like their appearance. It's unique and it works well. The flavor itself is a miss though, I think. It's not really a flavor that should be replicated with an attempt to be realistic. Personally, I think that. It's a fun one-off snack, but probably never again. All right, so these are apparently pretty iconic here. It is a custard cream. Um, it's a biscuit with some cream in there, kind of like the bourbon. Mmm, that's actually really good. I can actually taste like the cream in between the biscuits. It's kind of like buttery, but I definitely prefer this over the the little boy bun. <laughs> it sounds so off. I think it's very, very off. I have been eyeing these ones off for this whole video. <laughs> have I? There's a lot of food in front of me. I'm going to be trying these little guys here. I'm looking forward to these because they don't look airy like every other single chip 
on here. I'm sorry, I just spat on the table. It's another salt and vinegar. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm. I'm sorry, that sounds so fake. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. This is actually really crunchy. And there's a lot of flavor going on here. That's so much better than like every other chip here. And they're crunchy. I like crunchy chips. <laughs> oh, I want that whole plate. Square salt and vinegar. Five out of five. Superb crunch. Since we're over here near the little chippies, I'm going to try this thing here. It looks like a, a normal chip probably back home. Like a Thins, but it's not a Thins. This is called a Supreme Prawn Cocktail Chip. I don't know what to expect from this, honestly. I can't smell anything. <laughs> I can't really tell if that tastes like something I've had before. It's a bit weird but it kind of works. If you gave that to me and didn't say what flavor it was, I would be so confused and I wouldn't be able to tell you anything. But the more you like eat it, you can kind of see it, but I could I could probably eat a lot more of those. Prawn cocktail crisps. Psst, psst, psst. <laughs> Three out of five. It was a unique flavor which worked, but it wasn't really anything overwhelmingly good. Not bad at all though. Honestly, I'm surprised this flavor isn't more spread around the world. I can see it being popular back home in Australia. It's now time for this next drink. Rabina Light. No added sugar. So I'm kind of healthy. Not really. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, I cracked my wrist. <laughs> I'm just struggling here. <laughs> no, no, I've got it. Ten minutes later. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pretend <laughs> to open it now. Oh. <laughs> that smells awful. Oh, I, actually, that's not that bad. <laughs> Why did that stink? Oh, that tastes pretty good. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> pretty sweet considering no added sugar in this. You know when, like, it was like a little while ago on TikTok where like Americans just drank the syrup. I had that, but like with water, of course. But um, this is this is like actually pretty good. I would drink it again. Ribena, three out of five. It's one of those drinks that tastes better and better the more you drink it. Different type of drink compared to your standard juices and soft drinks, but I definitely recommend it. Next we have pick, 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 pick up a penguin. They're basically the British version of a Tim Tam, so I'm looking forward to this. Oh, there's a joke on the back too. Why are penguin shops so busy? Because the fish fill it. What? <laughs> Let's open it up. It kind of looks like a Tim Tam, but stretched out. Mm. If you think that is amazing, Try a Tim Tam. I know in London that like in international like candy lolly shop places, they sell Tim Tams there. So I highly recommend trying it out. Um, honestly, try a penguin against a Tim Tam. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, that's what a penguin is. It looks nothing like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> to continue on with the airy chips, um, we've got some pom bears. These guys look so flat and just over life. Oh my God. It doesn't taste like anything. These guys are like the airiest out of them all. And they don't really look like bears. They kind of look scary. Um, something also weird about them is their face. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but like they're all different. Oh no, he lost a leg. They have the same sort of bubbly texture as like prawn chips from like a Chinese shop. That's something I do like. I really enjoy those. So I guess I enjoy the best. <laughs> the last biscuit. And it's really cute. And 
This is the first time I'm actually seeing one of these in person. Back in my polymer clay days, everyone used to make these and I was like, where do you get these from? Also, Jamie Dodgers, isn't that like a baseball team? Is it? I just bit it and pulled it away and the jam one <laughs> made it slow-mo, like it got stuck. Kind of gave me like fruit roll-up vibes just then. <laughs> I don't think I like this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the grandmas out there. There's also a JD um, little signature, <laughs> signature? Um, JD letters on this biscuit as well. So that stands for um, jelly desk, jelly, cut that. Jammy Dodgers, 1.5 out of five. The jam itself was oddly hardened like glue and some of the biscuit on the bottom was sogged from the filling, which is never a good thing. <laughs> First world problems. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the last of the chips and it's this plate here. I'm quite nervous about it because a lot of people suggested these chips, but I opened the packet and it smelled rank. Um, they're called Monster Munch. The ones that look a little moldy, these are roast beef and these ones are pickled onions. Oh yeah, I got two packets of these. So this is meant to be jumbo size and these are the normal ones. Like there's not much difference if we look at these in size. Look at it. <laughs> the roast beef ones smell better and they smell like chickadees, the chips, if anyone has ever tried them before. Which is weird because they're chicken flavoured and this is roast beef. So I'm a bit confused. This kind of tastes like the airier versions of chickadees, which is weird because this is meant to be beef. But they're not bad, honestly. I heard you get these in Tesco meal deals, so I can see why it's a hit. Does anyone know what these like shapes are meant to be? Like are they meant to be like monster hands or monster feet? Wow. Pickled onion. I'm gonna try it. Um, it's airy. The flavor's a bit tangy, but not in a good way. <laughs> the roast beef chicken, whatever it wants to be, is a lot better. Monster Munch Beef, 2.5 out of 5. The shape of these are really weird and I have no idea what they're supposed to be, but I'm in love with the shape of you. Monster Munch Pickled Onion, 1 out of 5. Left me very thirsty and confused. No further comment. Alright, to finish this video off, we have saved the best for last, which I think I won't enjoy. It's a thirsty pig from M and S. I've heard a lot about these guys just everywhere. I didn't realize, but when I bought them, I opened the packet. I'm like, why does it say 30 on the pigs? He turned 30, so happy birthday. When I bought these, there were so many other Percy Pig merch. So that's why I've got plates. And I also bought some tissues. I thought it was going to be like, it's a pretty soft lolly, but I didn't think it was going to be that soft. It kind of disintegrates in your mouth. I think there's a whole cult behind these. <laughs> They're such like a big deal here. And when I bought these, there was like a whole end aisle of just heaps of Percy Pig merch. Like a whole dinner set and a onesie and a everything you could think of Percy Pig related. So I don't know what he's got over people here in the UK. Honestly, he's okay. Happy birthday, Percy. Percy Pig, three out of five. Surprisingly good flavor, but only in small quantities. Has a strawberry fizzer or Zappo type of taste, but less strong. I'm afraid to say anything negative due to his menacing influence on the world.